Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for November 26th, 27th, and 28th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, you know that I use my Radley Valentine decks. We're going to mix things up a little bit. I'm going to use my Angel Tarot cards for the main reading, like I always do. I'm going to pull one from my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. I will finish up pulling one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I am going to, for the introduction, pull a couple from either my Osha Zen Tarot card or and or my um, Weight Rider original tarot cards. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message. So let's see what we have here. Because I'm being drawn to both of these decks. And so we're going to do we're gonna do a couple here. And this is just kind of an overview for the weekend in itself. And even though I did not do it for my Monday through Thursday, I do want to wish everyone who celebrates Thanksgiving a happy Thanksgiving. It's a good time to remember our blessings. Okay, let's go on here too. Now, a lot of times with my Osha Zen Tarot, I do look at these as kind of advice cards. I just feel like there's um, just some interesting energies with this. So let's see what we have here. Okay, here, here, here. And we'll do one here too. So let's go and let's start at the top and see what we have going on and what kind of energies for the world are going to be out there for this weekend. Here we are, first card, and remember anything reversed has a lot of strength. It does not mean, some readers will say it's the opposite, but to me it's, you know, it's the, um, you know, basically it has a lot of strength. Pay attention to it. Okay, so this is the seven of Rod seven um, is a divine umbrella, divine number, and I did feel like we needed some of that divine umbrella to cover us, that, hence the umbrellas around us. Um, rods or wands is considered, is the um, fire energy, which is Sagittarius, which we are in Sagittarius right now, Aries, and also Leo energies too, so passion, burning, determined. And this is kind of like stand firm. Now, granted, we have, when we talk about the nine, that's very much standing firm. But this one is also just guard what you have, watch what you have, and you know, and just kind of be aware of what it what it might be coming against you. Okay, this one, this man has the one um, rod or wand, and there are six that are in front of him which could be that there are six coming against him or there are six that are even in fact guarding him. So this has some really interesting energies. It's not, a, there is a lot of prep, you know, be prepared type of energy with the seven of rods, and but it's also standing firm and just kind of watching what's going on, okay? Let's see, the next card is, okay, well, here we have the king of pentacles. Now. The court cards do have an underlying energy, so the king's underlying energy is our um, air energy or our swords energy, Very a lot of wisdom, a lot of um, thought and processing, but the pentacles is, about, is an earth energy. Earth energy is our Taurus, our Capricorn, lots of Capricorn energy going on right now, and we're going to go into Capricorn energy soon, but it's also our Virgo. So this is, this is a professional, this is somebody who is the top of his game, and doesn't matter, male or female, you know, this has a masculine energy to it, and we all have a bit of masculine and femininity in our, in our own energy sources. So this is somebody who is, um, goes after what he wants, but at the same time, he's very wise about this, but at the same time, he's a subject matter expert, he could be a very professional person, um, you know, lawyer, doctor type of energy here. Um, so, but again, this is subject matter expert. And again, too, this is somebody who knows how to make money and makes money well. Okay, next card here. That is reversed. Now we have the six of pentacles. 
Pentacles again, same energy. Six is the number of man. Number of man is the energies you put into something. Now this energy is money coming from an unknown source. So it's kind of like stand firm, you know, and for the, you know, for what's going on around us, stand firm, wait it out, don't, you know, don't do anything rash at this point, you know, kind, you know, he's not necessarily attacking at the same time, you know, this could be, you know, this could be, um, you know, a hedge of protection around him at the same time, or it could be coming against him. Okay, but he's standing firm. He's not doing anything rash. There is something going on, possibly in the background with our money situation. And this one, though, has money coming from an unusual source. Debt's being paid off. So this has a really, um, stand firm. Don't do anything real rash. Don't, you know, don't get, don't think, oh, you know, like Henny Penny. If you don't know what that's like, you can, you know, put that in your search um, engine. Henny Penny thought that uh, the sky was falling and it was something that fell on her head. So, you know, don't be rash. Don't go out and do something, you know, just reactive, okay? Stand firm, watch. Things are going on. I did talk about, I think it was last weekend, you know, to watch our money. So things are going on again with our money situation. It does look like it works out well. Money does come to us. There is a balancing of scale. The only thing that I don't quite like about this is that there is the person of large S and the people that are asking and saying, please help me, please help me. So I, I'm not quite sure that I really like that energy with this card, you know, but, um, but it does say, again, stand firm. Okay, let's go on. This card, control. Interesting with that. A lot of times that has that um, Hierophant energy to it. Uh, you know that I don't necessarily like the control of the Hierophant. Um, this does not have a number to it, but this would be, you know, the Hierophant in itself is that five, and there is a lot of, um, okay, Hierophant is very traditional. It brings about a lot of um, governmental or religious type of energy to it, too. So control, uh, we're going to leave it at that right now just because I'm not necessarily feeling that it's a very um, positive energy for us. Again, the fact that it's on these two cards, again, kind of watch. Don't be, don't be reactive at this point just yet. Okay, let's see what next we have. Integration. Now, this is a 14. 14, um, so we have that 1 or that 10. 1 is new beginnings. 10 is transitional energy. 4 is, you know, is that... Um, stability, it's integr it's um, leadership, okay, so it's also um, organization. Integration is that all the pieces have to come together, and I feel like something has to come together. Now, this control could also be that we have to keep control over ourselves. Just kind of, just kind of feeling a little odd with this one. Not quite sure where that one's going. And our last card here, possibilities. So we have the two. Two has decisions. Um, you know, has some crossroads, has some choices for us, the possibilities, um, you know, the, the eagle is watching. Now, I can look at that, the sun could be going down, the sun could be going up. The eagle sees things from a different perspective, sees things from a bigger perspective. I really feel it goes all back to here. You know, don't do anything rash, stand firm. Things are happening around us um, in the world, um, just things are coming together. Just, you know, this control gives me kind of a ick feeling, um, but the possibilities could be endless. Okay? Okay. So, interesting energies. Let me know if this connects for you or if it doesn't. That's all okay. But let's start our readings now. Hello, my Cancers. Well, I've been getting some interesting readings. Well, while I'm shuffling, why don't you take a moment to go down there and like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell for notifications. And let's see what we've got for your energies for this weekend. Here we are. Dreams and possibilities. So much excitement happening. Here we go. One, two, and three. Three cards. First one's reversed. Good. Let's see what this has to say. Ooh, moving on. There is a relationship that is breaking up. That is now it's ended. It feels really good. Um, you know, now this could be a work job, career, it could be personal, intimate, romantic, it could be family or home, and it just feels like it's now done. 
And the interesting energy is kind of like, I, it's like every time my cancers, you tried to move on, it just kept pulling you back. And it's kind of like, I don't know if you just are that much stronger and you're just kind of like, no, or if you've gotten out your saw and been breaking up some of those ties, or if you've been doing what I asked you to do the last time and putting it back, putting it out there, I do feel like there's a lot of finished business is finished type of energy. Okay. Air energy is, of course, our Aquarius, our Gemini, our Libra thought processes. Yes, we still have that, you know, Saturn in Aquarius. Jupiter is coming to its end, you know, in Aquarius. It'll be moving forward. So there's, a, you know, so it's trying to still, Jupiter wants to give largesse. Jupiter wants to kind of provide fortune and stuff like this. So it's still giving kind of a big push towards that. Um, you know, it's also, again, you know, thought processes, it's hearing news. So you could hear, you could be hearing some news um, about somebody, some major changes in whatever that was. Is this a job energy? Is this a personal? I don't know. Whatever that relationship is, you could be hearing news that it's, it's now, it's now done. It's done. Anyway. Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. Six, number of man, the energies you put into something. Next card is the king of earth. King, underlying energy, air, we talk about that. Earth uh, is the pentacle energy that I talked about in the introduction. The king of earth, and actually, did we have the king of pentacles? Yes, we had the king of pentacles in the introduction. I believe we did. So take a look at what I said about that also. But the king of earth, the king of pentacles is um, subject matter expert. It's a professional. So you could also be hearing news from a doctor or a lawyer or whatever type of professional that's very caring uh, and that's very much um, been watching over you in many ways. Or this could be even be your own energies. OK, this is this could be that you become the subject matter expert, that you are given a promotion, you are given a raise. OK, there's this there's a lot to the king of earth that, you know, is there to unpack. There is this could be somebody else that's in your life that has been handling your finances, your legal issues, your health issues. Or this can be that you yourself are stepping into a place of prominence. Okay, so it, it, there's, there's both of these things going on. Either way, the king of earth does bring money. Okay, generous, professional, responsible, practical. A successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered the Midas touch. Your next card here, the hermit. So we have a six, we have a nine. So the Hermit 9 has this energy that's kind of like you got all the pieces of the puzzle. Let's wrap it up. Let's get things done. The Hermit is Archangel Raziel, who also is, is, with the, um, is in with the magician who says you can make things happen. Okay, but the Hermit kind of connects with your higher power. The Hermit takes a little bit of time to do some self-healing, self-evaluation, um, kind of also do some gratitude some you know if you have an attitude of gratitude there's a lot of spiritual connection with higher power or whoever your, your great spirit whoever that is for you my cancers there's a lot of that connection so it's kind of like um you know there's a sense of gratitude here there's a great you know attitude of gratitude and whatever's fine whatever is happening um it just kind of there's a real big sense of freedom and take some time you know, give higher power, the universe, whoever that is, whoever that is for you, give them a thank you. Okay? Okay. So, spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery. Yeah, so now, yeah, this is good, good energies for you. Oh, we have solar plexus. That one flew out, but I think I want to pull another one out for you. Your solar plexus is your, um, and these three cards, ah, okay. These three cards fell out too. Your solar plexus is one of those um, chakra energies. We have like seven main ones. We have chakra energies all over, but these are the ones people identify more so. So we have the heart, throat, um, third eye. We have crown. These are more your supernatural. But then we have the heart again, solar plexus, um, your um, sacral, and then your root or your base. And these are more your natural. Your solar plexus, and again, we have that three energy. Three is the power of three. You know, you can make things happen with three. Celebration, also creativity. I think we had a three also in the beginning 
Not sure about that. Solar plexus is your decision making. It's also standing in your own integrity. Okay, so let's see what we have here with these cards. Okay, this one, because they fell out, and if they fall out, they want to be seen. Ah, temptation, temptation, a good old thing with temptation. So we have a six and a nine, we have a three, we have our one five. Fives have a lot of um, change energy. Fifteen, you can put that together, become a six, so we've talked about six also. This is the devil card. The devil card is living in fear. The devil card is trying to, you know, is you can either live in fear or you can release your fears. And, you know, I think that the releasing of fears goes along with that hermit card. You know, do you live in fear or do you want to release your fears? Because if you go to the devil card in the traditional, and you know, um, weight rider deck and you look, these people are standing there you know, in, in this very bad situation, and they, they can just, they can release themselves. The thing is, they were afraid, they were too afraid, or maybe they like where they're at. So it's kind of, the, the temptation card has a kind of, like, look at your situation a little bit closer. What do you want, do you want to change? What do you want to change? What's keeping you from changing? Your next card here. Now we go to your base chakra. I talked about this. This is your root chakra, your base chakra. This is your sense of security. This is, you know, your sense of, um, you know, do you have a roof over your head? Do you have uh, food in your belly? Do you have some money in your pockets type of energy? This is also coming back to, I kind of looking at this as coming back to a sense of security. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking at this as this is your integrity. Again, these come, came out later. I kind of look at this as leaving some fears behind. Yeah, do we leave all of them behind? No. Coming to a sense of security, coming to a better place in our lives. Okay, so our next card is we have that nine energy. So remember, one's our new beginnings, new starts. And then the nine energy is, again, we go back here to this. This would be your nine of clubs, your nine of water, nine of clubs, nine of cups, your nine of water. This is the wish card, fulfillment of wishes. Things are changing. This, you should hear some news this weekend. It's going to be some big changes. It's going to be very freeing changes. You're, you're going to bring back some more of your, you're going to have more of a secure base. Um, a lot of your integrity um, has, stay, you know, you've you've withstand attacks to on your integrity. You're stronger than you ever were now. You're leaving fear behind. You're moving on. You're creating a more secure base. And your wishes are coming true. So make sure you keep putting that out there. Okay? I like this. You had the longest one, the longest reading, I think, or the most cards, I should say, my cancers. So let's see what we have, what crystal or energy we have for you. Yes, fulfillment of wishes. Standing secure. Very cool. Okay, here we are. Clear quartz. Now, the an interesting thing with clear quartz is you can actually program it by talking into this and just kind of putting out there what your intention is with, with clear quartz. It's like programmable, like a um, computer disk. Psychic abilities, enhanced intuition, mental clarity, magnified energy. Interesting stuff going on here. Let me know. Let me know, my cancers, what this is all about. I love hearing from you about it anyway. Okay. Remember, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell, notifications. I so appreciate you, my cancers. Most importantly, though, my cancers, as always, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.